All lovers need a place. Lovers, love has to express itself. It has to express itself. It can't hide itself. It will show itself. All lovers need a place. Where are we going to meet at? That's what the Garden of Eden was. He, he created the garden so we would have a place. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. He said, the whole world is mine, but the garden is going to be our meeting place. Whenever we get ready for the hookup, I don't want you wandering all over the world trying to find me. This is going to be our place. This garden, we'll call it Eden. It's going to be the spot that you and I get together and become intimate and become affectionate. And this is the place of intimacy. This is the place where humanity hooks up with divinity. This is the place where the human connect with the divine. It is in the Garden of Eden. When sin came, we lost our place. That's why they were driven out of the garden, lost intimacy. So the first meeting place was in the garden. The second meeting place 2,500 years later is in the wilderness. Pharaoh, let God's people go that they may worship him in the wilderness. And he took them out into the wilderness and there he built a tabernacle. And the tabernacle was there as a meeting place. What the tabernacle is in the wilderness, Eden was in the world. It's a meeting place. It's a place to hang out. That's why it is in the middle of the camp and all the tribes surrounded saying that God saying, I won't be happy until I'm in the center of your life. You've been, you've been using me like a chick on the side. I'm your Sunday morning date. God said, I'm tired of dating you once a week. I want to be in the center of your life. And everything else you do has got to wrap around me. Everybody else you meet has got to wrap around me. Everything else you get involved in has got to wrap around me because I am your tabernacle. I am the place of meeting. Incidentally, tabernacle in Hebrew is oel mohed. It is a tent of meeting. It is what the Garden of Eden was. It's a place where lovers meet. And then God said, I'm going to give you the ultimate meeting place, the rendezvous place. And he went down and told a girl named Mary, he said, I need to make it out of your womb so it's kin to me. And the next place I meet you is going to be in Jesus. Jesus is my meeting place. He is the place where God meets man, where humanity meets divinity. He is the place of the hookup. He is the place of the connection. He is the place of the union. He is the place of fellowship. In Him I live. In Him I move. In Him I have my being. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Some of you are exhausted because everybody looks to you. Everybody looks to you. Whenever there's anything wrong, they all call you. They expect you to be the ever ready buddy. You have to deal with every problem, every issue, every circumstance, every situation. And you're saying, Lord, I can't keep on like this. And he said, no, you can't. And you don't have to. He said, I'm going to help you in this season to have a strength that doesn't even make any sense. The strength is going to come, watch this, not through exercise. It's going to come through intimacy. And here's the problem. You've forgotten how to be intimate with me. 
You come to church, but you don't come to me. You can't just worship him at church. Some of y'all wait till it's over and come. Because all you want to really get is the word and go home. But the breakthrough is going to come through the word. It's going to come through the worship. But because you don't know how, are coming to him for what you want but I'm trying to tell you what he wants he's been looking for you where are you where are you when was the last time you worshiped till you forgot what you had on when was the last time you worshiped till tears started rushing down your face and God got to clean out your heart and soul when was the last time that you worshiped till it didn't matter what people thought it didn't matter what they said about you it didn't matter what you looked like it didn't matter who was talking about you this is going to be a season where there are certain breakthroughs that only true worshipers are going to get People who can get in his presence and get lost in his glory. It's going to be your pericletes. It's going to be your comforter. It's going to be your help. It's going to be your leverage. It's going to be your edge. It's going to open doors. You're going to worship God till he gives you favor with men. You're going to worship God till he gives you favor with men. You're going to worship God till he makes your enemies your footstool. You're going to worship God until that blood pressure goes down. You're going to worship God until healing comes in your body. 